hey gang, I've been working on setting up the limit switches, the homing routine, and a height probe. Check it out. So I got a question on a pic I posted on Instagram. Why would you put switches on your switches? I have inductive sensors that are my limit switches. Those use 24 volts to power the entire sensor. And the Arduino uses 5 volts for all of its little circuits for limit switches. So I put in line a little cheapo Radio Shack relay to take 24 volts and switch over to 5 volts. <laughs> go up till it hits the max, back off, and then go up very slowly till it hits that max again to get a nice accurate measurement. And then I believe X and Y move at the same time. So uh, yeah, this should be fun. So if you're having trouble with your Z-axis limit, you'll want to use spindle enable versus the Z-axis if you're on a later version of GRBL. For some reason they swapped pin 11 and 12 in the Arduino and uh, that's the result is you have to swap Z-axis for spindle enable. These are my proximity switches and these are the little flags that tell them that they've hit the end. Those proximity switches are powered off of our 24 volt source here. I've connected the power for the two limit switches going up the pole here and uh, just fed them both with the same 24 volts and then they have individual signals coming back here. All of the signals meet up here so I've got an input for X, an input for Y, and an input for Z on the 24 volt. Then I've got a common ground back here that comes from the Arduino. And on the inside pin on this side of, of these relays, I connect the X, Y, and Z limit switches back to here. It looks like a massive jumble of spaghetti but it's really very simple. This is my touch plate. I connected it to the SCL pin right here on the corner. And then I just use this handy little ground for the other end. The SCL end bolts down to this aluminum plate that I know the thickness of. And then the ground connects to this alligator clamp that I clamp onto the tool. strung together a couple pieces of g-code. The way this command works, this one sets us into incremental mode, this one sets us to inches, this starts running the probe and says go down maximum of five inches at feed speed of five, which is fairly slow. Once it touches the plate, I ask it to come up 0.05 inches, then I ask it to run the probe routine again, this time with a maximum of three quarters of an inch, at a feed of one, which is very slow to get a nice accurate measurement. Once it hits the touch plate, G92 asks it to reset to uh, a specific parameter, so I ask it, hey, set the Z coordinate to 0.191, which is what the plate thickness is, and then I ask it to go up half of an inch to give me clearance. So over here you'll see that my Z is 
half an inch above 0.191 after it reset. So that works out pretty slick. I would be lying if I told you this stuff was a piece of cake. It has literally taken me an entire day to set this stuff up. It is all functioning now. The rig is working flawlessly when it homes and does the probe routines. So I'm a happy camper. That means production can start, hopefully, on some actual material soon. That is it for me for today. Don't let your meat loaf. If this is your first time on Greg's Garage, I'd invite you to hit the subscribe button so future videos will show up in your YouTube feed.